hydroponic tips and today we are going to be sharing how to grow peppers hydroponically and exactly what you guys need to do to grow successfully. How you guys are going to grow a pepper plant, I just want to go through a few things prior just um, so you guys know exactly how to grow pepper plants properly and the main important thing is pepper plants are day neutral plant and this is important because they aren't affected by the length of sunlight they receive or the length of darkness that they receive that's not going to promote them into flowering there is a few a uh, few other things that we'll go over that actually are going to promote them into flowering but it doesn't matter if they get 12 hours of light or 18 hours of light um they're not going that's not going to change their flowering so the next thing is Peppers do love light. They, you want to have 16 to 18 hours of light and this is just gonna allow them to grow strong enough where they can produce and hold a lot of fruit. The next thing is, is when your lights is you want that to be six to eight inches from the plant at all times. So as it grows, you want to raise your lights up. And then lastly, just a uh, quick note is with majority of plants that you're going to have in your hydroponic system, you have to worry about pH and the pH that you want for your pepper plants, like majority of the plants that you're gonna be planting is gonna be 5.5 to seven in that range. Um, anything lower or higher, you're gonna experience in deficiencies, toxicities, and you're just gonna have a lot of problem and plants aren't gonna be able so to So the next question so. that you might be having is, is if light doesn't determine or help them to flower, what does? And there is going to be three things that influencing flowers. The first one is going to be age or the maturity of the plant. Normally any pepper plant is going to take 50 to 80 days for the plant to fully mature and be ready to harvest and have fruit ready. So by a month, mature enough to start producing flowers. And then from there they'll produce flowers and those flowers will hopefully mature into fruits for you. The second thing that affects uh, flowering is going to be nutrients. And so I'll go over this in more detail in the next slide, but you want to switch over to high potassium and phosphorus. The third thing and one of the most important things is going to be temperature. Now I have a germination temperature and obviously without germination you're not going to be able to have a plant. So the germination uh, for your C2 sprout is going between 24 and 28 degrees Celsius, nothing above 30. So it is a warmer plant that enjoys heat a little bit more. Now for the growing temperatures is you're going to want your environment your ambient air to be during the day between 24 and 26 degrees celsius in that range it doesn't have to be exactly it can go to 23 21 however uh the nighttime you never want it to be below 18 and if you stay in this range you are going to get flowering lots of the times if your plant's not flowering it's because a your water temperature is going to be too cold and the ambient air temperature is too hot or too cold so those are things to consider. So the next question you might have is when you want to change the nutrients ratio. And this is going to be based off of when you see your first flower take place or start to bl blossom, that's when you're gonna want to change your uh, nutrients over to more potassium and phosphorus and less nitrogen. And that way the plant or the plant will focus more on putting its energy into the fruit and into flowering and less on growing. The first six weeks, uh, you're gonna want to do the vegetative State, which is going to be high in nitrogen and this is going to allow your plant to grow nice and strong fast so it can support those big fruits small peppers a lot of peppers and then again once you're flowering and the fruit sets in you're going to want to change the ratio over this will all be on your whatever nutrients you use now the last thing that i want to go over is pollination now because you are growing your garden indoors it is not or it does not have access to the outside elements like your wind your insects that naturally will pollinate your plants. Therefore, it is up to you to pollinate your flowers so they can produce fruit. So with peppers, most of them are self-pollinators. However, they do need help. And so what you can do when you see your flowers is one time a day, or maybe it's two to three times a week, you can gently shake your pepper plant and that will allow some of the pollen to fall off into the flower. Or if you want to be, you can also um, take a toothbrush or a Q-tip and dab each flower and transfer the pollen that way. Both methods work great, or you can even do both, do both methods and mix it up a little bit. But that is all you guys need to do if you want to grow successful peppers hydroponically. So the first thing is they are day neutral plants. They don't need sunlight to make them flower. And then the second one is it is based off of maturity nutrients as well as temperature. 
the flowering process. And then you need to pollinate them because they are, they're not gonna be outside, uh, outside to the elements. And if you take all that, you guys will be able to successfully grow any type of pepper plant you want. Hope this helps. Bye.